R8. I want to make sure everything is good. Let's check. Let's see, is everything good? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Cool, let's, let's quickly pull it up on my phone. Just to see if everything is... That was just... Alright, cool, cool. Everything sounds good, everything's good. Awesome-tacular, dude. Awesome-tacular. Um, pop out the chat. Yeah, alright, cool. Cool, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know how many are gonna pop up and who, I don't know how many are gonna pop in, but you know. This is my island. I haven't really done much to it. Uh, I just kind of started like a few days ago. Um, I don't know why my two test messages aren't. Alright, I guess that works <laughs> the two messages just took forever to get rid of themselves but uh yeah so i have a few things going on right i've got my snowman i've got my snowman up here right as you do i've got um i've got nook's cranny nook's cranny's up here um I decided on this specific spot because it's like if you could look down in the in the map here I'll pull it up so that it's big and large for everybody. You can kind of see um, that the shop is kind of in like this this little nook cranny. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not funny, but um, it's on this island sort of thing, which uh, I kind of want this to be sort of like the richer richer area. You know, we got the one house over here. Uh, I believe that this is the new guy. This is the guy who just came in. The guy who's, um, who's, who just came in. Uh, this cat. I don't remember his name. Kiki. Kiki. New guy. New guy. Um, he looks dope. I don't know if, it, if it's a he or a her, but, you know, that cat looks dope. That's a dope looking villager. I ain't gonna lie about that one. Um, but yeah, so I decide, I don't know if I want to leave these here. Um, I don't, <laughs> I mean, who knows, I might, I might not, um, if I decide to, then, you know, chances are that I'll build something around it, um, if you go back to the main island area, um, you can see that I had this fence, I don't really know why I had this fence here, I kind of just put it here just because I got the 50 fence from, uh, Tom Nook, and, um, I, I originally wanted like, this area here where I'm walking. I wanted this area to be like a garden area. I don't. I don't really know though. I. I. I think. I think that's what I wanted. I don't know. But um. So here's the one bridge, and I decided to just build the fence out to this house. Uh, this I believe is this guy's house. This uh, this woodpecker guy. I was actually. I didn't actually play the game. Uh, when Twiggy came in, which was yesterday. I didn't play the game yesterday, but uh, Twiggy. Is it? Tres Fab or Le Drab? <laughs> what? <laughs> How much voice? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm peaking my audio a bit. We're gonna we're gonna tone it down just a bit. Um. Hey yo, we got the one guy watching. Hey yo, shout out to you. Shout outs to you if you're watching right now. Uh, but we got Twiggy. He's pretty dope. Twiggy's like this uh this bird. I don't really know if he's like a, supposed to be like a woodpecker. But he's dope. Or she. Don't actually know. But they might be. Uh, tomorrow, actually, this is supposed to close. And, uh, you know, this will be the big thing. Um, turn into the big, big area. Uh, I've seen, I've seen like, parts of it. But not, like, anything that I can say, like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what it is. Uh, we got my museum here, and uh, I want to finish this Brachio. Uh, I have the skull, and I donated the chest, and like, I think I donated the tail? I don't exactly know. I think I donated the tail. I don't know, though. Hey, what's up, hello, guys? How's it going? Um, 
but so I have the brachio in front. I kind of want that to be like if you go to the museum, you always see like at the front. If you're like in New York and you go to the Natural History Museum, there's always that big, big dinosaur that's in the front of the museum. And I kind of want that brachio to be it. Like I have some of the brachio. I don't think that I have the tail. I have the torso. Um, so if I get another torso, then I'll probably like I'll just put that out in front. But if I decide to, um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the tail. I might, I might prioritize putting the finishing out it in front instead of like donating it. Who knows though? Who knows? Uh, I've, I've dug, I dug out all the fossils for today. And to be frank, there's a lot that I want to do, but it's just that I'm too early in the game to like do anything that I want to do like I want to have the path I want to have like a path that goes around it and then I want to have like a fountain like somewhere over here I know that you can get a fountain um but I want to have a fountain over here right and then uh over here maybe maybe have like an aquarium sort of area like get a bunch of fish that I've already donated but outdoor fish area you know what I'm talking about yeah 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 um hold on gotta sneeze real quick All right, I'm back. I sneezed. It was a good sneeze. It wasn't a bad sneeze. Um, over here we have like the the people, the like the people living. This is my house. Uh, this is uh, Deirdre's or Deirdre's, and then this is um, oh, what's the sheep guy's name? Oh, the sheep guy. What's what's his name? Let's let's go back in and let's go see who the um, the sheep guy is. Let's go see who the sheep guy is. What's your name? Dom, Dom the sheep. Lay it on me, lay it on me, lay it on me. What, what do you got to tell me? Your flower sweater really shows off your... Oh, thank you. I got... Oh, flower sunglasses. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh, heck yeah. I want the flower sunglasses. I want flower sunglasses. I'm going to put them on right now. Oh, heck yeah, dude. I am styling on them. I am styling on him. Y'all already know that I am like the most stylish Animal Crossing player in the entire world. This house here is for Philbert, this guy. Philbert, the squirrel. What a great guy, Philbert. Um, hey, dude, I'm getting so many compliments about my flower sweater. Like, dang. And then here's a Deirdre. Uh, the one who is living in the in the middle one he's also wearing uh, a flower sweater or she i don't i don't know i don't know the gender of any of these uh, of any of these guys i won't assume though um i do have this one cool area that i'm kind of working on right now that's like the one area that i'm like mostly working on right now there's no like bridge or um or like staircase to it if i get like a staircase or like a permanent ladder or anything like that over up to here that's, that's like the first thing that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, thank you, thank you for the compliment, hello guys. I, I do I do enjoy this and I do have a lot of big plants. This is gonna turn into a big thing. Um, this is gonna be like a shrine area, right? Um, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna go to the end for like the big, big shrine. Or you're gonna go up to the side to do the little shrine with the, with the big stone tablet, right? Um, or like the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if like I want the stone to be the shrine or if I just want it to be a smaller thing off to the side. All right, I got these um imperial fences and that this is kind of like the big thing that I have, right? You know what I'm saying? Um for right now I kind of want to focus on finishing out the museum because I know that I have a ton of things that I can do. Um I have so many fish that I just like haven't done let's go see this all right who wants to place a bet say that this is going to be a black bass or a yellow perch this fish here what are we what are we placing our bets on what are we what are we saying that this isn't going to be i say black bass well no wait no it's a bit too small for a black maybe i say that this is a black bass though all right come on guy it's it's time to be caught let's go there you go. All right. I say that this is going to be a black bass. Here we go. Black bass. Oh, yellow perch. 
All right, I, I was I did say that it would also be a perch though, but I went with the black bass prediction and didn't work out for me. Did not work out for me. Clearly, I'm not like um, a super super big brain when it comes to predicting fish. All right, what about this one? I say, what's that one called? It's called like the pond pond squirt or whatever, the pond wart, something like that. Oh. Can't stay and play practice, but stopping by to say hi. It, hey, what's up for? You don't need to stay for, you can stay for as long as you want. I won't force you to stay. I won't force you to leave. It's it. Go have fun with whatever you're going to do um, in your practice. Whatever you're practicing, I wish the best of luck for it. Um, I caught some fish and I got some nook miles. Heck yeah, dude. Um, oh, there's another one. Oh, that is most definitely a black bass. Oh, that is most definitely a black bass right over here. Oh, let's, oh, let's see if I'm right. I'm most definitely right. If this is not a black bass, I will shout to the heavens and say that God is good. And it is a black bass. <laughs> uh, it's a black bass. Of course it's a black bass. Why wouldn't it be? Um... We have like eight left over imperial fencing which be frank i don't really know what i want to do but i don't really know i have this one snowman and i did see on the title screen that there were some like snowballs uh i got it i got the snowman like first try first try the other day um like the first time that i built a snowman i built it perfectly so i got like this big snowflake and then the big snowflake, um, the big snowflake led to me building a table. Funny how that works, right? Oh yeah, there's the, uh, there's the art van, the art thing. I don't really know what to call it. The art boat? Is that what I call it? The art boat? Is he in? Hello? Ah, uh, okay. I saw the guy earlier and I donated the painting, so a lot is gonna happen tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I don't know as for why I'm streaming right now. I don't know. I was just bored and I was just like, ha, what if I, what if I, what if I stream, you know, what if I just do it? Cause I'm bored and I don't really have anything better to do. I don't have school tomorrow. So that's good. We have a parent teacher conferences tomorrow. So, you know, I get the day off. Y'all already know. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And then on Saturday, I've got a thing for club, which is why I had to I had to push back the uh, the crucian carp. Is that the first time I've caught a crucian carp? No, it's not. All right. Um, I've got a thing for a club, and I had to push back the Sunday. No, the s one of them. I I don't remember when the stream was, but I had to push it back um, because I was busy then. Or no, wait, why did I push back to Sunday? I don't know why I pushed back to Sunday Street. I didn't have to, but I did. Uh, I might go back to the original, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, chances are that like my mom is going to have me like go in and, and meet with the teachers with her because that's what she's always done. But, you know, three-day weekend, let's go. <laughs> um... I was, uh, on Wednesday, though, because, like, we had this, we have this absurd amount of snow, and, um, on Wednesday, I was, I was, I was just hanging out with friends out, out, after school, like, outside of it, like, immediately outside of it, and we decided to just kind of, like, oh, that was a small guy, that guy was a new one, probably, dang it, uh, oh, wait, there's the new guy, there's the new guy, let's, let's vault, but um, we have this insane, we have this insane amount of snow. It's actually snowing right now, and um, because of the amount of snow, the parking lot had to be like cleared with uh, because of the snow. You, you know, you can't really park on like a foot of snow, and um, and so there's these huge, huge snow hills that are right by the parking. Okay, what? I hooked on to that. That thing hooked on. What? 
That is just not, that's just not fun. Alright, but, um, yeah, so there's these big, big snow hills, right? And on Wednesday, I was just hanging out with friends, right? And so we went up to one of these snow hills, and we just decided to just start digging a hole within the snow hill. And, um, we kind we didn't get very far, but our ideal was just to build, like, a little secret, secret little hideout inside of the big snow hill. And, um, and, you know, we did build, like, a hole that, like, one of us could fit inside. And we actually, we, we spent a good long while on that big hole. Um, and you wish it snowed here. It's kind of rainy and depressing. That's hey, rain is actually rain is rain is a vibe though. Don't get me wrong, rain is great. Rain is a great weather type. Um, I I remember well, rain in the summer is awesome. So if you're like in a tropical area, then that rain is great. So you can just sit out on the porch, plug some headphones in, listen to some like to listen to some just music and just vibe in your in like in some pajamas or anything like that and boom there you go you got a vibe but um back to the uh back to the snow hill we we dug a hole and we started digging like under the snow hill if you if that makes any sense like a little cave area and we didn't get very far like i said it, because you know it took a while to dig out that snow and i'm a short guy i'm a short dude i'm shorter than most and we made it just big enough that like i could fit inside of it um i'm the shortest in the group by the way so it was pretty much only me that could fit completely inside of this hole it's cold and gray eh. so you can you can vibe to it you can still like rain is still just i love rain i don't know man rain is awesome i mean there's so much that you can do with rain like with a rainy day you can get so much done or you can just kind of like chill and relax into the rain i remember one time i was oh that's no no i i already gotten the days i remember one time i was picking up my dad from um from the train station uh and it was raining and I got and I got there like considerably early. I got there like I would say like 15, 20 minutes early than I should have. And you know it's pretty far away from my house, so by the time that I would get home, I would just have to turn around and come back. So I decided to just stay, and it was like I said, it was raining. So I just put on some like chill music. I just sat and just i just i it was great because you you know you were just sitting in the car and the rain was just hitting against your window and it was it was just a nice it was a nice little nice little moment of me sitting in my car listening to the raindrops um but the fact that it's cold cold and cold and rain doesn't do so hot because it's cold is it like just cold enough so that like it's not snowing or is it like, um, or is it like colder, but not, oh, wait, I think that's my first horse. No, that's not my first horse mackerel. Dang it, dude. Um, because cold and rain is not ideal, but it's not completely terrible either. Um, at least in my opinion, you know, opinions differ. I know a guy who absolutely despises the rain and everything about it. Like, the every chance that he gets, he'll condemn rain and just say, Ha, I can do, I can do so much more if it was sunny. And I'm sitting here like, Alright. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, a record player. I do, I do enjoy me some record player. What the, what does that what does that take? Hopefully it's not like too expensive. I expect like iron white lilies. I don't have lilies. It's Arkansas, no snow. Uh Arkansas. I've never been to Arkansas. Um I've heard good things about it though. I've heard good things about Arkansas. I've never been though. Not even just like on a road trip passing through. I've never been to Arkansas. Um, 
I like I don't really know too much about Arkansas either. I know that Little Rock is there. I know I know that Little Rock is there and that like Alright, does somebody wanna answer me why that didn't get hooked? It bite and I press A and then it swims away. I swear this game is this game is broken, dude. This game is broken. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Um Oh, big, big fish. Big fish. Big fish, possibly bass. Big fish, possibly bass. Big fish, but could be something else. It could be like a big, big fish. You know? I caught a sturgeon. Oops, I accidentally pressed too early. Um, it's a nice place, very natural. See? That's what I appreciate. Now, I have a question. Are you, are you more like in like an urban area or are you like in a rural area? And... The reason that I ask that is because I very, very much prefer rural areas to urban areas. Um, okay, that that it just happened again. What the heck is with? Ay, 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 this game is broken. I swear. Um, because I'm someone who. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. Game broke. What happened? Uh, oh. oh my uh my uh what what is that thing called? It's like one of those things where you plug one in extension cord. Extension cord. That's what I'm looking for. The extension cord broke or unplugged and <laughs> the game broke. Uh, I kicked it with my foot. Um but as I was saying, I'm very, I'm, I'm like a very, very urban area, and I very, very much prefer rural areas because I, uh, I spend my summers in a like in a rural town where there's like a thousand people, and honestly, I vastly prefer spending my time there than I do in the city, and that's just me. I know a ton of people. I, my, uh, I'd say that like. Pretty much all of my friends, apart from like two, prefer the big city, which is understandable. Big city, there's a lot to do. Real, you kind of like decide what you want to do, you know? Um, that said, what do I want to do? I kind of want to, let's go see, wait, I, I completely forget rural okay rural area 40 minutes away from west memphis oh okay okay oh so you're like oh so you're like right next to okay okay so you're like right next to tennessee then yeah or like not right next to but like you get what i'm trying to say Um, middle of nowhere, not very far from somewhere. <laughs> that's a, that's, that's, that's dope. That's, that's cool. Because I wish I could, I wish I could live in the, uh, in the, in like, uh, in the middle of nowhere. That's just me though. Um... A wet suit? No, 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 no. Eh, those are all lame. Hold on. Dinner's ready. <laughs> but, but, you know, I ain't leaving for no, for no food. Um, did I already order a mountain bike? I don't remember what I ordered. I think I ordered a mount bike. Well, let's order another one just in case. Hey, who knows? I might... <laughs> I might get two bikes. Great. I do... Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to... Because I have a ticket. I have a ticket to go. To go elsewhere. To be like... To go on a trip. To go on an airplane trip. 
And that's exactly what I'm about to do. That's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to go. I'm about to. I say nowhere, but the town is about 8,000 people. All right, man. Try. <laughs> that's that's pretty much nowhere compared to the. Why am I going into Nook's Cranny instead of my house? What the heck am I even doing? But <laughs> 8,000 compared to like 3 million people. That's. I'd say that comparatively is uh it would be nowhere that's just me um give me one second i just want to like do that boink uh yeah we're gonna actually do it like that all right cool cool uh we're gonna go back into my house and we're gonna grab our ticket we gotta grab the ticket we gotta do the ticket oh yeah we have this oh this is great look at that dude i love this floor i got this floor earlier today and like look at the fallen snow it's the biggest town within 40 minutes i mean comparatively mm, okay okay that makes a lot more sense. Uh, let's grab the Nook Miles ticket and let's go on a trip. But I really like that, like that wall and that um, and the floor. Great, great set of things. Everything else is just small towns, three hundred people, and farmland. <laughs> I love me some some good old farmland, some good old corn. I love corn. Corn is great. <laughs> um, I want to fly. Let's fly. I want to use my Nook Mile ticket. Let's go. You know what's annoying? My um, my membership for Nintendo Switch Online. It. Ran out yesterday. Not fun. Not fun. Because now I have to buy it again. And I have to put down 20 bucks again. Which is always fun. Always a great time. Rain and bean. Rice and beans. I read it as rain and beans. What the heck? <laughs> uh, I am just not very... I'm just not very smart, I guess. I Rice is apparently rain now. Great. Right. Oh, wait, cool. I got bamboo. 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 Always love me some bamboo. All right. Bamboo All right. Let's grab some fossils while we're here. I probably should have cleared my inventory, but who, who cares? Like, I'm not going to be getting much. I'm not here for, like, the stone stuff. I mean, I might get it uh, just because, like, it's easier to just grab it here i'm definitely going to be grabbing some of the all right nine bamboo pieces it's fine nine bamboo is good it's a good speaking of farms i've got a cousin oh bamboo oh it's not <sighs> all right well i'll keep the it's ricing outside <laughs> look man <laughs> Hey man, rice looks very much like rain, I'll have you know. Alright, we're just gonna plant the one bamboo shoot. I'm not looking. I want the fossils. I don't want no I don't want no rice. Or I don't want no bamboo shoots, I mean. No! Oh, Gimme fossils! I want the fossils. Drop one. Or eat one. Yeah, we'll eat one. Um num. Um num num, we will eat the one bamboo shoot. The one bamboo, bamboo shoot. Um, hmm. Are there really no fossils? Come on, dude. Come on, that's annoying. Oh, what about this? Please be a fossil. That's the wrong place to dig. Please be a fossil. No, not another bamboo. I don't want a bamboo. I want uh I want the fossil. I want not bamboo. I want fossil. Wait, you can bury an axe in a hole. Alright. 
I mean, if you say so. You know that 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 begs up that begs the question. Are you able to kill someone and then hide the body by burying it in the hole? Because if I can bury just about anything inside of the hole. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just decided, haha, ha, what if I just scoop up an entire bamboo tree? <laughs> Great. <laughs> drop item. Yeah, yeah, we'll drop it. Cool, cool. Uh, then we're just gonna... Wanna come to my island? I wish I could. I really do. Like, the thing is, yesterday, mine, like, if I go... Well, first, hold on. Well, what if I what if I decide to? Oh wait, hold on. Keep playing. I'll show in just a second. But because I don't know if I like if it'll close it. But yeah, I think I think we're good for for stuff. So we're gonna save. The funny thing is, this just happened yesterday, and it's really not fun. When it saves, save complete. See you later. All right, cool. Yesterday, my wonderful Nintendo Switch Online account canceled itself. Well, not canceled itself, it ran out. So I have to go and buy it again. But luckily, chances are that haha, <laughs> I'm all out of money on my debit card. So gotta gotta use some of that cash and go out and buy the actual physical thing I don't know wait wait hold on do you does okay so say that there's two people say that there's two people person a person B person a does not have switch online person B does if person B wants to visit person a would they be able to That's that's the question of the hour. That is the that is the question of the hour. That's that's the question of the hour. I actually don't know. I'm I'm and we're back to the game. Wonderful. Um got my bamboo shoot. Yes, my bamboo tree. Where do we want to where do we want to put it? A bamboo tree, bamboo tree. Where where should we put it? Where should we put the bamboo tree? Hmm. That's the question of the hour. Can't both need it? Dang. That fun. That's really not fun. Where do we put the bamboo tree? I kind of want to have like a. What if I? No, no, no. Here, here's here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the bamboo tree all the way over here. We're gonna put the bamboo tree all the way over here, like, like right here. Shovel, hold. Okay, I want to make sure that this is centered because if it is not, I will slap myself in the face. We're gonna go like that. Is that centered? I sure as heck hope it is. Because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go boom. We're gonna grab the bamboo tree and plant. Boop! Bamboo! It's the bamboo. Boo boo. <laughs> uh, I am just so not funny that I'm just. Hey, Tom left his house. Good. What's welcome back to the world, Dom? What's the latest? He's about most of the stamina. Lately, he's been kind of short of breath for some reason. What? You might. You think I might be exercising too much? Ha! You're so funny. Ass, and I wish I could. Um. But my Switch Online ran out yesterday, and I'm out of uh, I'm out of money on my debit card, so you know can't really uh, buy it right now. I wish I could though. Can someone visit? Uh, wait, hold on. I got a twenty a year for that Windows ninety eight. 
What is? What do you mean by that? I'm I'm kind of like I'm reading it and I'm like I'm just kind of like what? The question is question of the matter, question of the question of the week is where the heck did my swimsuit go? Got a twenty a year for I'm still. What do you mean by that for? What do you mean by uh got twenty a year for that Windows ninety eight? Is, I'm assuming that it's a joke. But I, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Wonderful. Let's put it on. Wait, flashy flower sign. Oh, oh, that is flashy. Oh, that is flashy. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I recently came it recently came out Nintendo's online services are running on a software that's basically just the Windows 98. Are you are you serious? That's like really bad. That's just not that's just the same online service they've been using since the days of the Wii. That is just what? That's just that's really bad maybe one reason it's what one well that's a pretty big one reason that's ay 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 28 for windows i at that point you're just running dos <laughs> like where do we put this flashy flashy flower sign? I don't know. Flashy flower sign. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go in front of the nook's cranny? That's where I was thinking too. Good idea, flashy flower sign. You are a big brain. Let's put you here. Let's see how you would look. Okay, how far do you go up though? Alright, that's about as far as you go up. Alright, so what if I go like that? Does that look good? Hmm. Or should it be on the other side? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's good. I think that the flashy flower sign's in a good place. Let's wear. Let's wear the. Oh, I love. I love wearing nothing on my sleeves and nothing for shorts. But the first game to utilize the new online is going to be. Oh wait, new online. Are they switching? Like, are they switching their stuff? Like, their servers? Oh, he gave, he's giving me something. Your utility pole. Wait, hold on. By utility pole, does it mean... There's no way. Oh! Oh, great! We got... <laughs> yup, great! I love having that. <laughs> Great, great work, Dom. You always know what to get me. You always, you're always great. Great job, Dom. Great work. Great work. All right, let's let's grab this guy. Come on. Uh oh, this guy's fast. He's swimming away from me. I don't. Oh wait, yo, who's that guy? What? Who is that guy? Pascal? Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Something people have been saying is that this is not automatically going to fix their connection, fix their connections, but they have to go through and manually change over the games. So there, so there is. And yes, they're completely new servers, but their online subscription is going to stay the same. Okay. So, so like, is it something that has to change with like new releases or is it something that they can like edit like so what i mean by that is like if it's smash bros who's currently using the old dos like bad are they able to update the game switch it to the new servers for like better quality if you show up at the water balloon fight with a sponge, you're gonna get soaked, man. 
And that's A-OK. -okay. What does that even mean? Oh, there, there he goes. That was a very weird interaction. But thank you, Pascal. That was a that was a very very weird something they can edit. Okay, great, cool. So that 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 looks good for uh, Mario Maker Two Online. Great, great work. If you hopefully, I'm not 100% sure on that, but they should be able to. I sure hope they are able to. Because if they aren't able to, then... I don't know, man. I don't know. I really hope that Nintendo does something E3 this year, though. Like, if they're just gonna do nothing, like they like they decided, like, to just do last year, like, they could've done something. They could've easily done something, right? They could've easily... Wait, I thought that I thought that the guy gave me a recipe. What? Where's the recipe? What? Where's the recipe? What? All right. Odd. All right. <laughs> Whatever. I thought he gave me a recipe for pearls. Do you know it's kind of surprising when you think Splatoon Two can handle eight people at a time? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I I think that it's like even more funny that we might have been able to um that we might that that we could have been able to, you know, play online like online games because, you know, some games are fairly fairly good with their internet. That like online could have actually been good in like the 90 which is <laughs> <laughs> Even more crazy. Uh, are we just? Are we really just? Hold on. What did the What did the achievement say? Did the What did the achievement say? He said something about like an odd. If you meet an otter, if you meet the laid back fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. You never know what you might learn in return, and a little gift never hurts either. I didn't get a gift. Did I get a gift? Oh, I got mermaid floor. So I did get a gift. All right. I got mermaid flooring. I'm literally only getting scallops now. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I mean, my Wi-Fi is just bad. Yeah. That that's just that's just how it goes for some people, unfortunately. But even still, like with bad Wi-Fi, if you get good servers, bad Wi-Fi can just be negated. You can get good servers and good games with people with bad Wi-Fi. Like, you just need to have uh, the the quality of the server to do. It. But that's just my opinion. Which you're never supposed to give online. Never ever. Never ever. Oh wait, I'm ahead of it. Never ever. Giving opinions online is bad. I couldn't help myself. Um. Kind of wanna. This is what I want to do. I don't know. You know what I want to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look up the fish. Fish. Dock. February. Uh, New Horizons. Because. Fishless. Here we go. We, so we got the Bitterling. Already got Pilch. Already got Crucian Carp. Already got Dace. Carp. Koi, I think I get a Koi. Goldfish, Popeye Goldfish. I haven't gotten the Popeye, and I can't. Ranchu, can't. Freshwater Gobi, already got the Bluegill. Have not gotten that, but it's in the middle of the day. I run most online game Xbox games well. Yeah, see, you just need servers. But then again, Microsoft is like 
a multi-billion dollar dollar company. Ooh, the stringfish, River Clifftop. Oh, the hunt for the stringfish begins. I know that stringfish is not fun. I could also get a blowfish from uh, from the sea. I might go for that. Yeah. Uh, red snapper. I think I got the red snapper. Dab, olive flounder, quid, tuna, oh, tuna and blue marlin. I need to go get those again. Football fish, ore fish, and barrel eye. All right. Uh, so there's only two things at the pier. I do want to get the string fish, though. That is something that I want to do. So let's go, let's go, let's go on the hunt. Let's go on the hunt. Let's go on the cliff top and let's go see if I can get myself a string fish. Imagine if the first fish that I come up on is going to be the string fish. Oh, wait. Here's a balloon. It's balloon time, ladies and gentlemen. It's balloon time. Where's the balloon? Oh, there it is. All right, balloon, get your little cutie boy over here. <laughs> your cutie patootie. Get your cutie patootie booty over here. Microsoft makes so much money that in you know, two months, they made over seven times the amount they <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, that's Microsoft for you. Oh, poop top. Yeah, poop top. Oh. Uh, no thanks. I'll I'll stick with my flower sweater, thanks. Not in not in. Uh... I learned the DIY recipe for some flooring. Wonderful. Uh, where's my fishing pole? There's it. There it is. I just I th I still think that the Bethesda buyout is still one of the most shocking things. Like I knew that. Bethesda was either going to be bought out or they would just like die but you know I wasn't expecting it to just to happen like that out of the blue especially because like Bethesda despite how they make their games now they have made some good good games they bought them for over 7 billion yeah it was crazy I still think that one of the most disappointing buyout for Microsoft has been the um, has been the Mojang buyout. Like, I really dislike what Microsoft has done with the uh, with Minecraft and uh, and and so little of what they did with other with the other Mojang games. Like, Mojang had like f I believe they had four games. And if you went to the Mojang website before the Microsoft buyout, you know, the old one where you would actually have to, like, sign in to your Minecraft account to actually, like, download it and stuff, um, you would see that they would be advertising their other, their other games, their other catalog of games. They didn't just have Minecraft. They were an actual game company. Um... And then Microsoft bought them out, and, well, it's just all been Minecraft. All of it. Which is like, money, yeah, it makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money in a year. And, you know, they're making more money than Mojang back before Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Dungeons. But, you know, I just feel like... I had to disagree, although a lot of people lost faith in the company with Fallout 76, they're still working on other games. Yeah, you know, the see, Fallout 76, I think, was just like... What are the games? What do you mean by, like, what are the games? Like, the, uh, the delay is, like, 20 seconds, so what I was saying 20 seconds ago, I don't know. Oh, what? Oh, for mine, for Mojang. Um, they, uh, they had this one game called Scrolls, if I remember correctly. Um, I didn't actually play it or anything, but I, I heard good things from the people that did play it. Um, and then they had, like, one game that was, like, supposed to release, I'm pretty... Like, you can find it all on the website. If you go to like mojang.com, I could probably find it. Mojang. 
Mojang.com. Mojang.com. It just redirects to Minecraft.net. No, 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 no. I want Mojang. I want Mojang. Mojang. Yeah, account.mojang.com. Mojang Studios. Oh, they had two other games. Scrolls and Cobalt. Scrolls, which is now called Collar's, Co Collar's Bane. And uh, the game is free. Posted on 2018. Great. It seems that there's only really one guy that's managing it now. Uh... Let's let's see about. I want to see what this is about. The caller's bane. Playing scroll. All right, scrolls. Your opponent's idols sit behind their forces. Each one starts with ten health. Destroy three, and the match is yours. You can only place units on your side of the battlefield through spells. Can be placed anywhere. You can play. Okay, so scrolls is like a a tactical turn based sort of game. And then cobalt. Cobalt. Yeah, I know nothing about these games, but they were talking about it. Play Cobalt. Cobalt available. Uh, Cobalt was the one that was releasing before. Uh, Cobalt is available on Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Windows Steam. How do you feel about the Sonic animated show coming next year? Uh, that's, the, that's the first that I'm hearing about it. What's it called and what's it about? <laughs> um... I don't, and there's nothing on Cobalt. All that it is is just a game by Oxide Game Studio in collaboration with Mojang and music by No So Beauty. That's all that Cobalt has on it. But, you know, they had other games and then Minecraft was just like there. And then, you know, I mean, it's, it's understandable. It makes money. It is one of the most successful games of all time. But at the same time, like another one of the most successful games of all time was um you know most of nintendo's things like like wii sports is one of the most successful games of all time in terms of how much money it made that was just because it was bundled in they made one sequel wii sports resort and technically the other wii games i wouldn't really consider those sequels but sonic prime we know nothing else well Something about a multiverse? Well, it's Sonic. Chances are that it's not going to be very good. But, you know, hopefully it, it, it might be very funny. Because for as much as Sonic, like the, the latest show, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom had some pretty, like, legitimately funny stuff. Um, at least in my opinion, then again. I'm just I'm just a dumb boy who uh who just laughs at the sight. Oh, I don't want no boot. Nah, nah, nah. Drop it. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want it to just drop. Um. But as I was saying, Wii Sports is a really really successful game, and even though it was packaged in. It was, um, it had one sequel, which is also on the top 10, I believe, of the most sold games. And then they just didn't make a game after that for Wii Sports. Like, like Wii Sports was extremely successful, and Nintendo kept just making other really, really successful games. Like, um, I'm trying to think, like, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, right? Animal Crossing... 26, 28, 30 million units have been sold of this game that I'm playing right now. And, you know, you don't see Nintendo focusing all of their time and money and sales on that one specific game, right? I mean, then again, it's probably different for an indie studio, but, you know, you get what I'm trying to say here, that the time could have easily been spent on other projects, and they did, and then once Microsoft bought them out, they were like, gone. That said, I, I probably wouldn't have played them, I'm just pointing out that they existed, and then they didn't. Oh, wait, that was a good spot. Eat my hook, line, and sinker, please. I am very desperate, I need a new fish. 
That's the third time that this has happened. That's the that's the third time that this has happened, dude. That's the that's the third time that I've been bamboozled and absolutely absolutely destroyed by uh by that guy. By by the small fish, the small fish in the river. Not fun. Not fun at all. Um what do I want? Let, let's... I do... I did want to, and I probably will go again. I do want lilies. I want white lilies so that I can get a lily record player. I want a lily record player. I'm a simple man. I care about one thing, and that's a lily record player. If I cannot get the lily record player, then... There is no point in living. No point. Redeem Nook Miles. Let's redeem Nook Miles. Uh, Nook Miles ticket, yeah, sure. I might, I might, uh, I gotta go sell stuff. I might, hmm. Depending on how Sunday's stream go, or for the, or in general, the Chrono Trigger streams, I might switch over to Twitch for streaming, just because, you know, Twitch is where people go to actually like find the streams and stuff. But who knows? I might say on YouTube, YouTube streaming is not bad. In fact, I think that it's actually kind of kind of good. But uh, and again, I'm probably in the minority when I say that. Who knows? I just don't think that Twitch is a very very good company in general. That is that's just my opinion. I'm getting a lot of hot takes out in the open here. But, what company do I think is good? I think that Sony's a good company. I think that Sony's a good company. And... What else? Oh, Falcom! Falcom! The, the people that make trails. They're a good company for games. In, in terms of, of, of a good company for stuff other than games. Amazon. Oh, SpaceX. SpaceX is a great company. I actually want to work there in the future. If I'm able to work at SpaceX, dude, that would be the dream. That would be the dream. But uh you gotta put in you gotta put in the work. You gotta put in the work to work at it. Um Because I, I'm like I'm stupid interest in like I'm stupid interested in uh in space and like taking taking people to space and taking people to the moon again and mars in the future and every time that i bring that up with people people immediately jump to me wanting to work at like nasa and while i completely completely respect and admire nasa i just think that them as a company or as like an organization really because the government organization they they've really just like not been in it for a while and that's not due to them that's due to the amount of budget that they're given a year they are given like i don't know the exact number but it's a crazy little number when you're talking in government money i i'd i i'd uh i don't know exactly how much like i said but uh it's not a lot. and i think that privatizing space is a great step forward I think oh, I pressed too early, um, and I, I really do. I really think that it is a, a really big and really necessary intelligence systems. That's another good company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think that privatizing space and having private space companies that will take us to space in the future, I think that's a massive leap forward because. Um, not only does it offer it up to the greater populace, it also allows people who otherwise would have no interaction with the space industry at all to have that to have that connection. Before it was NASA and it was a government organization, so it was a government appointed job. At least that's what I've heard. I don't exactly know how the hiring process works at NASA, um, but. You know, having a private company, that's great. That's incredible. Oh, I forgot to sell my stuff. I am just like, did I sell my stuff? Did, I did, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna go. 
we're gonna go do the thing. We're gonna go and find some lilies. That's what we're gonna do. Um, but as I was saying, I think that SpaceX is definitely like, and the fact, and the fact that like, you know, people are becoming more interested in space as the years go on, and I think that there's going to be a huge, huge hike in, in um in the amount of people that are interested in it within the coming years because we're going to be taking people back to the moon in four years three years now really um i think it's 2024 i'm like 99 sure it's 2024 but man that's going to be incredible the amount of people that are going to watch that live is going to be insane it's going to be insane and then it's going to be another occurrence of people getting stupid interested in space it's gonna get it's gonna bring back it's gonna bring back all that interest in, and uh, and i am absolutely hyped for that i know that it's a long way away but you know and then and then with the i mean you saw that over the summer like the over the past summer you saw that happen with um the rocket going to um the space station from kennedy space center for like the first time in years um that we've actually like done a man from the kennedy space center which was in which was it was just great um i put it on the tv and i was like the only one monolith soft is another good company yeah um and it was just it was insane. It was just, it was great. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Xenoblade. Right, 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 right. I, I'm actually playing Xenoblade right now. And I'm having a blast. I'm having a great time playing that game. The first game. I actually haven't, like, beaten it yet. But, um... I am having a great time. I have... If you've played it, I am at the part right after you get Riki. That's where I'm at in the game. And so I have Melia, and Melia's great. I, I'm a fan of her just from the get-go. I think her name is Melia. Um, I, I'm a good, I'm a big fan of Dumbin. Big fan of Ryan. Not so much Sharla. Sharla's not really that interesting of a character. Not too interested in Riki either. Riki's just like, not, you know, not all that. If, if you catch my drift. It's apples or is this oranges? It's oranges. Great. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is this Tarantula Island? No, it can't be. That that no, that this is not. Okay. Alright, it's not. Um But yeah. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. Um good game. I'm enjoying my time thoroughly with it like thoroughly thoroughly enjoying that game um another jrpg that i started playing uh haven't really gotten too far into it uh is final fantasy 9 i started replaying it because i have played it and it is a good game I'm not too much of a fan of square enix's RPGs in general, and that's just mostly, that's just mostly because of, like, the way that they, like, format them, and I'm not, like, saying that they're bad games at all, because, you know, they're soundly made, and they just, and they have great, great writing, great story development, and, um, it's just that, like, they, I wouldn't say that they're, like, my favorites, but Final Fantasy IX is definitely up there with some of the better ones. I would say that I thoroughly... And that's why I went back to it. Like, I would not revisit a JRPG that I had no interest in replaying. That's just how it is. I I want to replay it. And, uh... Where am I at? Where am I at? I'm at the part after you meet Beetle, the Beetle Mayor in, like, uh... What's it called? Nordbloom or whatever? The place... The, the, the first place. The first big city. Um... I have no idea what it was called, but you've not played Definitive Edition, but you watched Chugga Troy back when he played the game on the Wii. 
see. I see. It is a great game. It is a fantastic game, and I highly recommend that you pick it up if you have the 60 bucks to put down for it, because it is highly, highly worth your time. Highly worth your time. Um... But, I digress. Um, and I got my Switch recently, and that's one of the first things I plan on getting. Uh, yeah, and, and also get the second game, if you haven't played it. Um, the second game, a lot of people like to say, a lot of people like to hate on the, on the second game, because of its, like, very, very OP sort of nature, but, like... It's a good game, nonetheless. People people hate on that game too, too much. And it's like, come on, it's a good game. It's a good game. Um, another game that I recommend, the entirety of the Trails of Cold Steel series is coming to Switch. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say get it. Like, I'm, I'm gonna say get it. Because it's good games. Good, good games that you got on there. Good games. And, um, Square is weird. Square is very weird, right? I'm assuming that because you're saying it now, and because of where the stream is at, you're a few seconds behind. That's fine. Um, but I, I, I agree that Square Enix is, is, is weird. Um... Oh, come there's no fossils here all right i don't actually know if you're supposed to get fossils or not like when you go to these places i just wish that i would get like a nice new flower type i'm playing dragon quest 11s and it's really good i haven't played a dragon quest game not ever. i've never played a dragon quest game and i might start with 11 um I don't know too much about it other than it's pretty typical in your in your JRPG. Oh wait, uh Oh, you've played two? Oh, okay. Wait, did you get a new switch? Is that why you said you recently got your switch or like did you get, did you play two, do you have two right now, and did you play it, like, recently? Right, agreed. Completely agreed with the, with that. But that's the, that's the same with, like, any game. That has problems, but it's good. It's a good game. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go home. I am ready to go home. That was a completely worthless trip. I'd, I'd say I'm probably going to give this about 20 more minutes and then I'm probably going to head out. The biggest problem is the over-sexual female blades. That is... I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. Um, Like... The... The, and then there's a few moments where it's just like, like the introduction of Poppy for one is just like, it's just not like, it's just not fun to watch. <laughs> it's just, it's just an awkward moment for, I would say everybody. Final Fantasy 16 does look nice, but then again, with the way that Final Fantasy has been going, um, like, 13, 14, and 15 have all been pretty bad games in terms of Final Fantasy standards. Like, 14 was fu Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. There's no way that this is just a sea bass. Come on. Give me a big fish. Give me it. Give me the big. Give me the big boy. Slurpy slurp. Uh, um... Hey there, I found your stream on the live tab. Can't I was wondering if you if I can ask you a question about streaming. Yeah, go ahead. Ask the ask away. 
away. I mean, they made the JRPG what it is today. Yeah, they did. Oh, it was just a sea bass. Not fun. Not fun. Oh, whatever. It, it's money. It's free money. They did make the they did make the RPG what it is today, but um, and and I gotta respect them for that. It's just that like some of the more like it is Square making bravely default. Oh, okay. Okay. I am interested in Tales of Arise, though. I am very, very interested in that, in the new in the new Tales game. Um, it would be my second Tales game. My first would be Vesperia, which I have yet to finish, but I'm going to get to it. I'm going to finish it. Don't worry. Um, I'm at a pretty infuriating fight, but... You know, it, we'll just sell this. Um, I'm very, I know that you like the Tales series, so I, that's why I mentioned it. But Tales of series, I'm very interested in Tales of Arise. I don't know if it's coming to Switch though. The one support conversation with Tora, right? It was, um, I'm pretty new to streaming on YT, and no matter how I set up my stream, I never seem to be on that live tab for the games I'm streaming. I'm making sure it's public and it has the right game category assigned, but it just doesn't show up. I was wondering if you had any tips or tricks you were using to get listed there. Um, so if I'm going to answer honestly, I would say that I I don't really know the whole mechanic of the algorithm, but that said, with that said, the way that I have this stream set up right now is I have the the tab tags. If if you want to tag your stream, make sure that you tag your stream with what game you're playing. Like uh, my tags for this stream specifically are banana, banana gaming, uh, gaming, and just the word gaming trails of cold steel because that's a series that i do um banana banana minecraft because that's when i mostly live stream live stream live stream animal crossing new horizons nintendo and switch those are all of my tags and you and so i also have um the game listed like um if you go to category gaming and then you go to game title optional, you want to type in the game. And so like if somebody goes to that specific game to see all of the live streams that are on that game specifically, um, then you'll see like all of the streams and you're just able to scroll through and stuff. And then I, I would just say title your stream with the name. That's those are probably the three things the the uh, the title, the um, exact game title where it says optional beneath the category like if you if you're working on the YouTube studio itself um, it's below playlists it's uh, or no it's above playlist it's above your thumbnail category gaming uh, game title optional Animal Crossing New Horizons that's what I've got and then your tags just put a bunch of stuff that's relevant to your channel specifically and then put a bunch of stuff that's relevant to the game that you're playing like what console it's on what kind of stream is it um and then you know just for good measure because you're probably a small channel to get your name out there also put some other games that are close in content wise to the to the sort of game that you're playing like minecraft is close to animal crossing and they have a similar audience so i would say put minecraft with um with animal crossing in the tags and then another way to get it out there would be to um have a twitter and tweet about it put some hashtags in there with relevant with relevant stuff sorry for the voice crack and then um and then that should that that should that should do you um that's the best advice that i can give and with that said let's see what fourth has said 
When it comes to Final Fantasy, I wouldn't say the new games necessarily bad, but they're not the same and a lot of older fans don't like that, which is understandable. Hey, what's up James Plays? How's it going? Uh, yeah, I want to know more about Arise as well. No, the Switch is not going to handle it. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it's on PC though. Um, but it's supposed to come out this year. I've done all that except for maybe a couple of the tags you name. The algorithm just doesn't seem to want to grab it. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, honestly, consistency will also help you a lot there. If, if, you, if you're consistent about your streams, then... Um, then uh, YouTube will want to put your stuff out there more because it knows that you're doing stuff consistently and it'll want to get your name out there and stuff. Um, uh, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. But how's it going, James Plays? You enjoying your uh, day, evening, night, afternoon? Can you do some island tours if it's okay? Uh, I Okay. I wish I could. I really do. But... I might, I might do another Animal Crossing stream tomorrow where I can, because right now, yesterday, my Switch Online ran out. So I don't have the capability to visit other people's islands. And I really wish I could, because make the stream so much more interesting and more people would come in. So chances are that, because I have no school tomorrow, chances are I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do a stream like that tomorrow where I'll visit people. So if you want to come back tomorrow, uh, I'll do some island tours tomorrow because I'll definitely buy the Switch online tonight. And then I'll do a stream for uh, island tours tomorrow. Um, but as for this stream, this is just kind of testing out Animal Crossing stream. Ah, uh, come on. I swear this game is just like broken. This game is just like, you should check out Red. You should check out, you should check out Red. What is Red? Or is that like an acronym, R-E-D? Or is that like an island name? <laughs> Let's see. It, can I craft anything? Let's see if I can craft something. Ooh, a recycled can thumb piano. How about no? I don't. Wait, 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 wait. The mermaid. You see that leaf symbol on the top of your map? Go there. Oh, the leaf symbol. Oh. Yeah, wait, hold on. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hold up. Or it might just not work because the YouTube algorithm is completely... Yeah, the YouTube algorithm... All algorithms are dumb. They promote the... It's basically the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Um... Do I still have my swimsuit? Where? Where? Wait, that's a big fish. First, I want to catch this fish. This is not a sea bass. This is a bigger fish. This is an important fish. This fish is going to get me 1,000 gold doubloons in the black market in Dubai. Oh, here we go. That's it. That's the fish. It was a sea bass. Unfortunately, that's not going to get me. Unfortunately, that's not going to get me the, uh, the 10 gold doubloons that I want in the black market of Dubai. Just be a YouTube VTuber and you'll make tons of YouTube money. Oh, uh, yeah, I, sh I, should, I should do a face reveal of just a VTuber. I'll spend exactly a... Fa I'll spend like $2,000 to be a VTuber and make like sketchy wait the ship's kind of sketchy looking i shouldn't board without asking all right time to find the guy i should ask 
Yeah, I'll do a face reveal and it's gonna be just a VTuber face, and that's gonna be great. I'm gonna love that. Let's grab this. Come here. Come here, you. Don't you swim away. You have to realize that it is few... What was I gonna say? It is... What's the word that I was looking... I had a word in mind. I don't know. Yeah, ask him. How do... How... How do I ask him? Where is he? Where's the guy that I gotta ask? Is he like somewhere over the rainbow? Hmm. Hmm. Let's find this guy. Let's take off my swimsuit. I'm probably freezing in this. Just do what PewDiePie did and make really low quality model just to make people mad. Hey, that that brings people to his streams though. That's that's a reasonable business model. I might do that. I might spend a whole two dollars on it. I got a scallop. 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 Uh I need a sand dollar though. I need sand dollars and pearls. When do pearls show up? And when do sand dollars show up? I don't know enough about this game to know, like, when things are. When things show up and when things don't. I'm too new to this game. Swim. Swim to what? Swim to where? Swim to who? Who's inside of here? Deidre, I'm coming in. I'm coming in to steal your gold doubloons. I'm coming in. Hello, Deirdre. I'd fix you a snack, whatevs, but my cupboard's kind of bare. You don't have... Your cupboard's... What cupboard? What? Deirdre, you have a book that just came out of nowhere, out of your pockets that just don't exist. You have a table... What the? I s okay. This deer is like, I don't, I don't even know what this deer is on, but whatever she's on, I want some of it. <sighs> hey, yo, we've got six people watching the stream. What's up, you all? What's up? Oh, Twiggy, Twiggy's outside of his ass. I've totally lost count. He made, he made like three people mad on Twitter and they ranted about him for three days. That was great. That was, that was really fun. You, so you say you don't keep pizza in the boom box. You are saying that you do? I'm concerned. I'm concerned if you keep, if you keep your pizza in the boom box, I'm concerned. That's where the record goes. Like, I understand that a pizza is like the same... Is like the same shape as a record, but that don't mean that you that that don't mean that you put the the pizza in the boombox. Like that's just not how it goes. I need to sell some stuff. Doom, Doom Eternal should have won Game of the Year, and don't even at me on that. I am correct. I am always correct. I cook it with my fire tr <sighs> I I'm just not even gonna do that. Alright, James, have a good dinner. Or lunch or breakfast or whatever it is that you are eating right now. Have a good one. Let's sell my bamboo. I don't have any need for it. I'm gonna sell my magazine too. Two thousand three hundred and seventy two. So exact. How the heck is it so exact? Like, I would think that it would just be to the 10th place, but, you know. That's fine. Alright. Hmm. I kind of want to move this stuff. Oh, dinner's gonna be good. I hope that it is. Uh, I don't care what game of the year was. I just think it shouldn't have been Last of Us. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree with that one. Last of Us Part 2 did not deserve 
I would say The Last of Us 2 did not deserve any of the awards it got, except for like one or two. It did not deserve a single award from the massive amount of awards that it got. It was like, what if we say, haha, ignoring all of the good games. I just think that is funny that Among Us won Mobile Game of the Year, even though it's been out since, like, 2018. And then Fall Guys won the, Fall Guys won the, like, the best, on the best, like, support or whatever it was, online support, or the best updates or something like that. Um, and it's just, like, they did nothing. <laughs> Can't stay and watch. I wanted to pop in and say, hey man, thanks for popping in. Have a good one. Have a good one, Riot. I love you too, Riot. Don't worry. Oh wait, it's this guy. Hey, what's up, this guy? Red. Oh, Red. I got a real good deal on the old fishing trawler a while back. I bet it'd make a good show. Is he gonna be like a permanent stay here or something? Probably. I'm gonna probably end the stream in the next five minutes. I've got homework that I gotta do for the weekend. The deserved one or two of them because the game was technically very impressive and it looked very good. The story was just absolute garbage and it's and it's a story. That's very, very true. You know what game came out in 2020 that had an incredible story that nobody talks about? Ever. Hajimari no Kiseki, which, in other words, is the latest Trails game. That game is a great game. And with that said, that that's gonna be the last of the last of the Trails plugs. Play the Trails series. It's good. It's a good. Good series. Good. Good series. Um, I wanted to get Hitman 3. Not permanent, but he appears once a week. I think it's Mondays. Dang, dude, Mondays are just terrible. I don't want it. I don't want it to come on Mondays. I want him to come on Friday. Or Thursdays. All right, here we go. Here's here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to rank the days of the week. Here, here we go. Here we go. We're going to we're going to put a new text. Boom. Uh, all right, you guys are able to see that, yeah? All right, cool. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to rank ranking the days of the week. All right? <laughs> all right, here we go. Ranking the days of the week. All right? Number one, Saturday. All right? Anybody who disagrees with Saturday being the best day of the week is just incorrect. He's just wrong. Saturday is the single greatest day of the week, and anybody who says otherwise is, is wrong, and you don't deserve to have an opinion. All right, number two. Number two is Friday. Friday is basically the Saturday of the week. It's the best it's the best. It's the best. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't have uh, online. It actually ran out yesterday. Come back tomorrow for tomorrow's stream, though, and you'll be able to visit my island, and I'll be able to visit your islands. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, tomorrow, I'll definitely have Switch Online, and I'll get it around for that. Anyhow, back to ranking the days of the week. Number three... All right, this may be a controversial opinion, but Thursday, Thursday is the third best day of the week. Why? Because it's the Friday of, of, of like the days before Friday, right? Like Friday is the Saturday before the, before the Saturday, Thursday is Friday. You know what I'm saying? Thursday is the third best day of the week. And below that comes well it, it, it comes sunday sunday is just a great day of the week it's it's a it's still the weekend it's it's still like it's a very very solid solid day it's a solid day of the week 
and you know Sunday. It's 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 interchangeable with Thursday. I say I say, I say that like anybody who says that Sunday's better than Thursday, valid. That's a valid valid opinion. If you you know say that uh, Sunday's worse than Thursday, understandable as well, um, because that's how I think. I I think that's the case. Number five, number five is Wednesday. It's purely there because uh, well. It's not Tuesday or Monday, and you know, um, that's true. I mean, Tuesday is, but back cover is bad, and I don't like ReZero. So, like, no. <laughs> so, Wednesday is like the peak of the week, which means that everything is downhill there. Everything is downhill to the downhill to the weekend. Downhill meaning uphill, like in terms of quality. Downhill in terms of the the amount of paying attention that you need and the amount of stress that the day brings. So Wednesday's like that peak. It's the hump day, which means everything after that is just closer to the weekend than it is farther from the previous weekend. And then we get to six, and we get to seven. Now, a lot of people will put. Monday at the bottom and Tuesday at the top, right? A lot of people will put that, but not me. I think that Tuesday is the worst day of the week and Monday is not because here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Monday on three day weekends, Monday's the Sunday of three day weekends, right? And Tuesday, nothing goes on on Tuesday. It, you rarely get four-day weekends. And if you do get four-day weekends, you get Friday and Monday off. Never Monday, Tuesday, or Friday, Thursday. It's always to two ends of the weekend, right? Tuesday, you got nothing going on. Not only is it towards the beginning of the week, it's not so close to the weekend that you don't have nothing to worry about like Monday. And it's not close to the end of the week, and it's not the middle of the week either, so that it's closer to the weekend. Tuesday's the worst day of the week. Hey, and anybody who says otherwise is incorrect, and you don't deserve an opinion. So that's the official ranking of the days of the week. And anybody who's, who differs from this is wrong. There you go. It's always going to be in the top corner in case you're interested. There you go. Black Clover is indeed pretty bad. Explain myself. Here we go. All right. ReZero didn't catch my opinion, didn't catch my attention. It was just another Isekai to me. All right. It wasn't that standout. Two, Black Clover was annoying as all, as, as all hell. It was just an annoying show, right? I watched as it released like i watched the first episode the day that it came out i watched the first three in the first three weeks that it came out and man man was it annoying and i know that everybody who says who defends the show is like oh he gets better he doesn't scream every two seconds it's like all right but by the time that he wasn't screaming every few episodes you were already like six episodes in and you know I don't want to watch 60 episodes just for the show to get somewhat good. The, the, the for both the anime, I I didn't read. I didn't. I I only recently started reading, like but you know. All right. Next, we're gonna do next. The next thing that we're gonna be ranking. All right. The next thing that we're ranking. We are going to be ranking the months. We're going to be ranking the months. Ranking the months of the year, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is going to be the only definitive... Oh, that's way too small. Hold on. Oh, it's upside down now. Okay, here we go. Ranking the months of the year. Anybody who differs... Anybody who differs from this is just incorrect and you just uh, you just you're just not right you just you're just wrong in your opinion all you're just always wrong all right starting at the top best the best month in the world is july 
July is the greatest month just because it's the exact middle of the year. You got you got sunny weather if you're in the northern hemisphere, just like flip the months. Or if you're in the southern hemisphere, just flip the months, and that's exactly how I feel. Um But July is just July is great, right? You got so much going on. It's 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 just a great great month and july is the best month of the year number two number two number two the the second best month of the year all right yeah and here and and it's june all right june and july they're the two best months of the year not only do you have june ending school you get out of school at on june in the beginning of june it's also starts summer break and it's nice weather but June also has that sort of colder weather, which is why it's below July. But honestly, June and July, you can you can you can swap those two. You can you can you can swap them out. Number three is, is it's April. April is the third best month of the year, and I'm not and April, it's good, right? It's a great month because you kind of have the beginning of leaving that cold cold weather behind and starting to see some of that more like warmer weather but you also get like the nice the nice april like showers which you know are actually fewer and far between than people like to lead on uh, hey don't worry don't worry december's up here december is number four december is number four just because you know holidays there's so many holidays in december but december's four um it's only four because it's like freezing cold and like december isn't the month of snow like at least where i'm at it's january and february are the months of snow december there's like no snow so there's nothing to do it's just cold it's just dry cold and then you get the sniffles and then you know it's not it's not as fun as april because april's great april's awesome Number five, number five, all right? Number five is October. Number five is October because of Halloween, baby. Halloween. Halloween is Halloween is great. And it's it's a great holiday. And anybody who says otherwise is just wrong. All right? October is great. All right, number six. Number six. Now, th now, this is where things start to get a little spicy because you, you, you kind of already know that the top five months are July, June, April, December, October. Everybody knows that those months are just the, boss, the best five. Everybody intermingles them. Um, everybody like swaps out one for like another if they want to change their opinion. But generally, June, July, April, December, October, those five are just consistently always at the top of the at the top of the list. We're starting to get to the more like the more obscure months i would say but like the the ones that people don't really think of first and at the top at the top i'm gonna put may and may is good because you know thinking it from a from a weather standpoint it's not too hot and it's not too cold it's about the similar weather to october but less cold i would say october is just kind of like there um in terms of weather but may it's it doesn't really have any like major holidays but you're already starting to lean towards just kind of like getting wrapped up for the school year and and may is just one of those months where like april has in there's popular saying april showers bring may flowers um and may has those flowers and it's great number seven number seven all right and you know may it's kind of to the top and now and now we're starting to get to the months where people are just like what i'm gonna put august here and the reason that i put august is because it's the third month of of, of of summer the reason that it's not as high as july or june is because august also has the start of school and unless you like in a state that starts in early september but you know August you're kind of you're kind of getting the back to school shopping nobody likes the back to school shopping nobody likes going back to school um <laughs> okay banana guru is live in 20 minutes I'm gonna end this stream in you know 10 minutes anyways um but so August is there 
and it's great and it's a good month but it's just like you get into towards the the start of school so it's just kind of lower on in terms of the in terms of the um you know summer month it's the worst of the three summer months and um and so that's why it's towards the bottom and number eight we're gonna go at we're gonna go with march and the reason that's march is because mark is like the first month without frigid freezing cold temperatures like man man freezing cold temperatures suck and so you know it's like the first good month of the year it's like the first like solid month because if january which are just absolute terrible months they're going to be towards the bottom of the list but march is the first solid month of the year right and that's why it's it's up there it's up there it's it's definitely not as high as april or may in terms of the month of spring and the reason that it is is because well april and may are just warmer and april is just the best month in in spring but march is like the first solid month of the year and i respect it for that um I kind of, I kind of, I got, I kind of got to think of the of the months that I'm forgetting because, okay, yeah, I have them all. All right. Um, up next we got November. We got November, and it's uh, it's there. <laughs> it's just kind of a month that's just kind of there, and it's really only known for like Turkey Day, at least in the U.S. Um, elsewhere, November is just kind of pointless. November is kind of like pre-December. It has Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So if you're into shopping, then there you go. But November is just a cold month. It, November is just... Uh, it's it's the first good month of the year. And the reason that it's number eight is just because like, the year progressively gets better as it goes on. And th it's number eight because it's above the four months that it's above. Right? It's the it's the first good month, right? Like you could you could also say that April's the first good month, but like I I would put March below if it was like similar to February, but because it's like a stepping away from March from I would put it above like no I would put it below November because it's stepping away from like February and January. It's above it. You know what I'm saying? Like like it's hard to explain, but March is March is the first good month of the year. And uh, so November is just kind of there. You got Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So if you're into that stuff, then there you go. All right, next, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put September. September is pretty much the least eventful year in the entire year. So why is it number ten? Why isn't it like number one? Well, because you got two worse months, and um, well. <laughs> September just has nothing going on. There's, it's, it's the f first real full months of school, so you kind of have to put all your effort into that. There's only like one major holiday, and that would be like Labor Day, or is it Memorial? No, it's Labor Day. At least in the U.S., I don't know what holidays are in September elsewhere, but probably nothing. September just has nothing going on, and the only reason it's above the other two is because it's warmer good job and the reason it's below november is because november at least has turkey day nobody like in september just has nothing going on all right september is a boring month all right number 11 we've got february all right february the month that we're currently in is hold on i, I have to sneak all right as i was saying February is a month that it, it's a very, very cold month. And they're really, again, like with the other months that are close to the bottom of the list, there's nothing going on apart from maybe Valentine's Day. But if you're single on Valentine's Day, February sucks. February's number 12 for you. But, um, I mean, who knows? You could have a great single, uh, single Valentine's Day. And props to you if you do, but February it, in the and the reason it's number eleven and not number twelve is because it's shorter than the first, uh, than the worst month of the list, and that is January. 
I don't know a single person who likes January. I don't know a single person. Not only does it take us out of December, it takes us into a year, and it's cold, it's got nothing going on, it's long. I mean, apart from like this year, this year's January went on like for, it, it was like, January went over like that. But most years, January goes on forever. And the memes in January are terrible, dude. They're like the worst of the year. And nobody likes January. The official Bandai Namco channel has one of the employees playing through Vesperia. That's neat. It is neat. I might check it out after I stop. But, um, so January is number 12. And so this is the list... I'd say that number six through eight are interchangeable, and then number one through five are interchangeable. I would say that number one and two are interchangeable, number three through five are interchangeable, and number six through eight are interchangeable. But the bottom four are the bottom four. Those are the bottom four. No, but anybody who disagrees with those bottom four being in the bottom four, they, like, why? If you like January, I am genuinely curious as to why you like January. Is like, is there's no holiday in January? Not a single one. Uh, maybe except for like a birthday. Like, Bandai Namco for the past month and every half, every week, they have been doing a retrospective of every game in the Tales series, starting with the first one, and it makes me think that yeah, I I saw that for uh, Symphonia, um, the GameCube one. And I think that they might do a rise at the, at the very, very end, which is hype, which is hype. But if you like January or February or September for any other reason apart from your birthdays inside of one of those three months, please give me a valid reason for why one of those three months is good. Any reason at all. And maybe I'll consider changing it on the list. But until then, this is the official list. And don't just say that, oh, my birth month is, to is low on the list. That's not a valid reason for saying that a month is good. Um, so anyhow, anyhow, that's, that's my opinion on the months of the year. A rise and drop a new trailer. They are one of the last PS2 games. Oh, they're on one of the last two PS2 games. How many more games do they have to go for? And they've been including the spin-off, so it might be a while, but I really hope we get a new trailer. I do too. I do too. I'd be very, very hyped for a for a uh, for a Tales trailer. I I'd be very excited for that. Very excited. But those are my official rankings for the months, and those are my official rankings for the year or for the for the uh for the days stay tuned for tomorrow when i rank the years f since 2000 where shocker 2016 is not gonna be at the top hey what's up chris i'm doing well how are you let's let's give this guy let's give this guy uh let's give this guy the top <laughs> this guy's gonna look great in the tube top. <laughs> great job. <laughs> great. Great look. I think I might stream for about 10 more minutes and then I think I'm gonna head on out. What was what was your year of the year for 2020? My year of the year? Uh, probably 2020 if i was if i was gonna go what was my year of the year for 2020 probably 2020 2020 was a very odd year it was a very odd year 2021 is not starting out any better but who knows could be good <laughs> No. That one's my bad. My bad. Sorry, I I, I should have gone with uh with twenty twenty. 
That one's that one's a lot more popular of a choice. Can I give this guy something? Oh, I can't. What's your dream job? What is my dream job? Do I want to be a musician? An athlete? A CEO? Or something? I want to be a CEO. Let's be a CEO. Boom! CEO. Honestly, the whole business thing's not for me, but if folks like you are in charge, then stuff's gonna be alright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um... I kind of want to catch some more fish. I'm gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go check and see if the string fish has spawned. String fish! Oh, string fish! Hello, string fish! Hello, string fish! How are you there? String fish! Is the string fish here? String fish! Oh, string fish! No, there's no string fish. What an unfortunate sight. What an unfortunate sight. There's no string fish. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's... Let's do this for the time being. Let's go. And let's drop down. And I'm going to... I'm going to go dig up some of the manila clams, and I'm going to make some bait, go to the dock, and I'm going to see if I can get myself a tuna, or if I can get myself a big, big man, big guy. Five minutes until the shark. Hey, well, isn't she playing like Luigi's Mansion though? Luigi's Mansion's a good game. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Mm, at the moment, at the moment, I'd probably say that, um, I'd probably say that, uh, what's his face? Moist Critical. I'd probably say that he's right now probably at the top. I've also been watching a lot of, uh, Mudahar. I've been watching a lot of Mudahar lately. Um, he's also one. Uh, what else have I been? Let's let's let, let's look at let's look at let's look at the people in my recommended. All right. Oh, Jay Schlatt. Jay Schlatt is someone that I that I um am enjoying a lot. Um, who else? Who else? Scott the Waz. He's always been a favorite of mine. Um, actually, fun fun fact. Fun fact, I was, uh, I was actually part of the first 10,000 subscribers to subscribe to Scott the Waz. So, I have my certified, I liked him before he was cool, award. No! I didn't get my thing, I didn't get it out quick enough. But, yeah, that's, that's my cool fun fact of the day. No, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, no! Fitz is good. Fitz is, Fitz is a solid YouTuber. Fitz is good. I, I enjoy Fitz. I was, I was trying to pop and pull up the chat again so that I could, um, look at it. But then, uh, but then a hermit crab popped up and I was, oh, no, 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 no. And then I got sad because it ran away. That was very, very sad. Very, very sad. You know who I used to like, though? I used to very much enjoy watching, um... Call Me Carson. And then, well... He did a thing. 
And uh, yeah, my opinion on him has completely changed. I've been watching Chugga Conroy since as long as I can remember, so I know that I have that right to say that as well. By the way, it is pronounced Chugga Conroy. Yeah, Chugga Conroy. How would anybody else pronounce it? Uh, or how else would people pronounce it, I should say? But, um, do people pronounce it like Chugga Conroy or something like that? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that my, like, opinion on his content has changed. Like, I'll still watch his content. Call me Carson, I'm talking about, by the way. I'll still watch, like, his content. Um, although I haven't been watching his latest series because he's been playing Qua Xeno 2, and I need to finish that game for myself first. Understandable. And uh, Hello Guys watches Quackity. Quackity's a good YouTube. Um... I really, I, I really, really enjoy his raids and stuff. That, that's, in my opinion, his best content. I think that's his, that's his greatest content. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, you said it wrong the first time. That's why I said chug. Oh, okay, okay. How did I pronounce it the first time? Did I? <laughs> I, I literally just went like. I went like, hey, yo, how would anybody else pronounce it? And then I go, haha. Pronouncing it wrong. Dude, there's no way he's gonna be ma he's gonna keep making content. Yeah, no, he's done. Yeah, I know, he's done. But I'll still watch it, and I'll still enjoy it. But he's done. Like... What? Like, at first, I wasn't, like, sold on the idea, because, like, 17 and 19, like, come on. 17 and 19 is not like it's not bad i know i know 17 year olds who are dating 19 year olds and like no one's saying that that's pedophilia but what really put it over the edge for me was um what was face the narrator and what he had to say about the whole thing like that put a whole new perspective on it like at first i was just like eh, eh it's fine i've seen worse like, Pro Jared did the same thing, and he came back from it. Pro Jared, by the way, good content creator, good on, good for RPGs, a lot of Final Fantasy content. I don't know if, like, a lot of people know about him. He used to be really big, uh, one of the bigger ones, and then he was just kind of, like, died off after his whole drama thing. Um, but you can use text-to-speech. You use text-to-speech once in this app. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. I'm gonna see if there's any, uh, hermit crabs over here. Hermit crab? Is that a hermit crab? No. All right, all right. I don't think that there's any hermit. Yeah, it was the other stuff that was the problem, like the, the texting miners and stuff, which was like... Okay, I mean, I've seen worse. Like, it's bad, yeah. I'm not gonna deny that it's bad, but, you know, there's YouTubers who have done worse. So, you know, and they've recovered. Like, there's, um... What's his one? What's, what's his face? There's the, uh... Mini Mini Lad, I think is his name. Mini Lad or something like that. He was doing the same thing and nothing happened to him. So, you know. Alpha Rag coming back soon. Hey. That's great. I personally don't watch Alpha Rag too much anymore just because like I'm not like too too big on the whole like Smash content. Um, but I used to watch him a ton. Like a ton i used to, I, I don't I, I don't even know how much i watched him but i did um and then when he advertised his good buddy captain kid i was like haha let me let me go subscribe to that guy and then uh i found out that that guy's actually like a bad youtuber so you know that was that was the whole reason why i started all of this just it, it was mostly 
mostly because I wanted to. Secondly, because like I just wanted to spite the Captain Kid guy. <laughs> like you could say that he was an inspiration for me, but more so it was because he took my money and he ran. And he ran, ran faster than the speed of sound. And so I want to do the same thing to him. <laughs> That's what I want to do. We were just trying to figure out how to show everyone what an awesome place Lumpuro is. Yup, dancing is super hot right now, so I want to jump on the stage and do a big dance show. I'll totes and wow the whole crowd. Don, you're one of my back dancers, okay? What? You're kidding, right? We're gonna put on a weightlifting competition. You're gonna be my spotter. Oh no. <laughs> weightlifting? Nuh uh. I've been so deep in the rabbit hole that I. Yeah. You, you went deep. I went deep in the Hollow Life rabbit hole. And then I was like. And then I was like. I don't understand a word that these guys are saying. So I just stuck to clips and stuff, and then I slowly but surely stepped out because I interacted with the community for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah. I want to do a weightlifting contest. Uh, I mean, Carson broke the law, but people on the internet don't didn't go to the channel. They just canceled in Twitter. What is, what is editing tool? What is, like, I'm assuming you're asking what editing tool I use. Um, what is my editing tool? I'll have you know that I use the only, only the greatest of editing tools ever. All right. I use iMovie. <laughs> I use iMovie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you kid was bad? Do something? What? Eh. What did you? What? Oh, what did Captain Kid do? Oh, um. So basically, like he promised, um, like a certain reward if I bought like a membership of a certain tier or above right and he promised it like it's in text form i have the the like the thing that where he says yeah I, i'll let that happen yeah this will happen and so i did it and well he, it never happened he just kind of took it and he ran and then he asked me and he said we'll do it we'll do it next month I'll have you know that the membership was a monthly subscription so he said we'll do it next month meaning I would have to pay another X amount of dollars. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't cheap. Well, Halloween is what you're into. See, the thing is, I'm not too into the personalities of of Hollow IVN. I don't know why. And that, and, and that too, I'm just not too much into watching streams. Like, I'm fine with doing streams. They're easier to, to do. But watching streams... I don't know. I just I just don't have the patience to watch things live. I like skipping through the video to the more interesting parts. Like if I were watching the stream right now, I'd be like skip 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 skip. Um yeah. But I think I think that I think that this is a good spot for me to just kind of save and, save and end uh and the stream. Thank you all for uh for tuning into the stream. If you guys enjoyed it, um consider subscribing if you're new if you guys um are not new then uh welcome back to the stream i would say and uh i hope that you continue to support the channel because it is greatly greatly appreciated um we're about to hit the funny nice number on uh in subscribers so y'all already know that we finna hit that and um when we do, when we do, that's going to be a big moment. That's going to be a big, big moment. Uh, be sure to follow my Twitter. Um, actually, I'm going to post my Twitter real quick. I don't think that I've explained enough. I have a Twitter now. I have a, I have a Twitter now. So if you want to follow me, 
on the on the twits of the ers. Here's my here's my Twitter. It's in the chat. There's the Twitter. That's twitter.com slash home. Hold on, that's the wrong link. That's the real one. There you go. That's the real one. There we go. There's my Twitter. Uh, be sure to follow it if you wanna if you wanna stay up to date on like um like uploads and stuff. So that's why you guys wanted to kill the kids. No, it wasn't that we wanted to kill the kids server. It was, it was I got bored of the server in general. It wasn't because a kid. It was just because the server was dumb and boring and bad. Um, but be sure to hit the bell notification squad where you at. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think that I have anything else that I really want to say. So with that said. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys possibly tomorrow? Probably. Oh, there goes the, there goes uh, that one. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys possibly tomorrow.